Okie dokie, now um, we're in GarageBand, this is the thing that I did just before, um, this is what it sounds like. It's a little bit ropey, it's worth actually fixing that and showing you how to do that. I did two clicks on the green bit and this guy this guy came up. I'm going to change this to, oh that's right, if I go down here and change it to measures, can you see how this changes? See that says 12 seconds, 14 seconds, 16 seconds, if I change it to measures, it says that's the third bar, the fourth bar, the fifth bar, and the sixth bar, which is actually what, the kind of thing we need when we're editing. Let's just play through it and see if we can identify where the problem is, because it'll probably be really obvious. Okay, now this is what needs to happen. Those two notes there need to be on that big line. And that will probably sound pretty good. I'm going to copy that one though. If I press the option button, it copies notes. It copied the wrong one. Option, and then click and drag, and you can copy. Let's listen to that bar. Better, I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit. Listen to that now. Okay, now let's have a listen to that whole thing. Now, this is the fantastic thing about Garage Band. Top right hand corner of the green bit, we've got a roundy thing, and bottom right hand corner, we've got a trimmy thing, if I do the roundy thing, this is what happens, it loops, and it loops perfectly, so I'll just play the end part, and you can hear how it goes back to the beginning then. Cool, so now we've got a thing, it starts at bar 3, I'm actually going to get it to start at bar 1, because that's how, you know what, I'm going to leave it at bar 2, so that I get a little bit of space at the beginning. Now I'm going to record the guitar and you can do either of these in whatever order you want and you can actually do whichever one you want to do, you don't have to do both of them um, but it was easier for me to play the piano first and I've pressed plus and I've pressed real instrument as you can see, as I talk you can see those meters come up here, over here you can see meters, those green bits now what I'm doing right now is I'm putting headphones in which is the way to do these kind of recordings and I've got my guitar here. Okay, let's do a recording. Okie dokie. See how that sounds. Cool. I'm going to just trim that so it's all nice and tidy, and that means that I can loop this guy. Let's just check that. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to make a new track and I'm going to sing my part. I need the headphones in again. Okay. And record. Tuesday morning, woke up early. Tuesday morning, penguin time. Tuesday morning, woke up early. Tuesday morning, penguin time. 
Okie dokie, let's just have a quick listen back to that. Tuesday morning, woke up early. Now there's, we don't need to listen to my voice too much. Um, what I want you to understand from this whole process is how cool it is that you can actually just pull the song apart. So we can hear it just with piano, by muting, that's the mute button over there. And see how that goes like grey instead of blue. Tuesday morning, woke up early. Tuesday morning, penguin time. Tuesday morning. Now, I'll leave that there. 